Don't worry, Spark9000. While we're waiting in between stuff, I have a, I have a habit of rambling. Because it's pretty good to uh, keep things going. Mostly because I don't have a co-commentator. My co-commentator kind of disappeared halfway through the cast. Which means I'm alone. Like always. Forever alone. <laughs> but either way, we are going to be going live with this first knife round. Where a bunch of people give each other presents of nut of uh, pieces of shot, pointy metal. It's kind of like uh, living in Nottingham, where everyone has knives and not afraid to use them. As only four people are here, as one of them lag like, behind, and this is going very badly for the Russians, which is a little bit weird considering I think that I would have thought the Russians would have more in-life experience of uh, stabbing each other with rusty pieces of metal. German schnitzel. <laughs> oh, you know, I do know I want to find the common co-commentator for I-49, which I'm definitely going to be going to. If you like British teams, if you like awesome Counter-Strike, and if you like Counter-Strike matches with prize pools of £10,000, pounds, not money, not euros, as we are going live for the first gun round, you should check out I-49, which is going to be in August, I think. As we do see, it looks like I do like this aggression coming out from the CTs. I was going to push over to Tabson, who's got me in flashback. As again, we're seeing from seeing this aggression from Leicester. It, although I like to see Kirby rotating around, because Kirby should be realizing that because there's nobody here on this banana, they're going A. I was going to be switching over to Tabson. He's N faculty, who's on the CT side. As SMN's going to pick up the first one, Tapson's going up one on one, man oh man, and they're both going to take bullets to the face like a champ. The flash is going to come out. Uh, Tapson runs out at the wrong time, but Kirby gets the. I'm not sure what. As Pipson, it's now a three on th three. Haley takes down Kirby. As uh, so what are they going to do? They could go B from here. As we have Haley, he's the one rushing out to the A bomb side. It's one headshot, lovely kill there, leaving it all down to Leisha and SMN. The bomb plant is going to go down as Leisha is trying to rotate through from middle, but Haley is here, running from him. Brilliant game sense. That's going to be. Uh, it should have been an easy kill. Pipson is going to pick it up, leaving it all down to SMN. It's a one versus three. He's going to throw that decoy out as a decoy. He picks up two kills. It's now a one versus one. He's got the health advantage. Not anymore. It's now a one kill, one death. He's just going to go for the defuse. But he has, he's going to take him down, instant headshot, brilliant clutch, is he going to have enough time? Yes he is! Practically great. Counter-Strike is only like, if you wait until the, what's it names, it's only like £7. In fact I think right now it's not that much, it's like a 50% off or something because they just did an update. But that was pretty sweet. Seriously, SMN, 1 versus 3 clutch, 2 instant headshots. Seriously, someone go out and make a frag movie involving that. Well, if you don't have a credit card, you can buy your Steam money. You can buy Steam... As SMN hits a lovely headshot to edit, I'll finish that off in a moment, minute. As it's now a 4 versus 4. We don't even need to do that, German schnitzel. As T Tabson picks up Hooja, making it a 3 versus 3 as Pipson hits a nice kill there. But SMN is going to clean up. Make it into a 2 versus 3, but the bomb plant, they don't have the bomb. Where did the bomb go? The bomb is... Oh, it's in B apartments. Ah, oh, You have to feel sorry for them, because I had a chance to win that if they had the bomb. But they don't. As the decoy is going to go down. And it's now a 2 versus 3. This is not looking very good for the nostalgia side. As H Haley is here. As Tabson is going to take him down, and I was about to respond. But basically, you can buy Steam cards. You know like how you can like buy from like game and stuff? How you can buy like World of Warcraft cards? 
Well, you can go to places like Game and pick up Steam wallet cards, which will add like 10 or 30 dollars to your Steam account. It's pretty good if you don't have a bank account, if you like only if you only have money. As we see, disruptor is here in apartments. It's gonna be a three to two split. Who's just gonna take down the first goal? Take in our leisure. As Pips and takes one up as well. Haley's in a good position. But disruptor is gonna get the better of him. As overdrive. It's now gonna be a three on four. The flashes are gonna come out. I see SMS. Pipson's gonna get a nice headshot, picking up his second kill, leaving it all down to Tapson and Disruptor. As it looks like they're just trying to rotate away. And that is going to be one to two in favour of Nostalgia. Or are they going to rotate away? Maybe they're just making sure they're not going A. Edic should get the bomb plant eventually. But yeah. Bomb has been planted. Now, violent video games are fine for kids. I've been playing Doom since I was three. And I've only went on the murderous rampage once. <laughs> And I only, though I play violent video games all the time, I only occasionally have dark thoughts. As this is going to be a very simple save coming out from my faculty, on is Nostalgia going to go for it? I really wouldn't, I really would like to see Pipson staying back, just because he doesn't have the health to go and go up against these players, these people. Terrorists win. But this is going to be, everyone gets to save. It's all rather nice, rather British. Everyone just gets to sit around and, uh, you know, drink tea and... It's all rather awesome. Yeah, I'm not that fond of COD. It's a little bit... eh. Although, there is new... Although, even if you can't find the money for it, there is good news in the sense of... Uh, there are plans for CSGO to go free to play eventually. As in, it, the code is in there. It's just... eventually. As we see SMN, he's going up against two. He's going to take down... Edic is going to take down one, but SMN gets the shotgun kill, making it into a three versus four. As Overdrive is going to equal things out. Lovely kill there. The lovely spray down by Pipson. Showing us how it's done. Leaving it all down to Tabson. And lots of sends in this game. As it... Nostalgia, they're in a very commanding position. Tabson is going to pick up one. But Overdrive, he's on the A bomb site. He will very easily get this kill. Tabson has to realise that they're on the A. And Tabson, he has managed to keep tabs on his opponent. As the smokes and flashes are coming out, but he's running around thunderfooting it. They know exactly where it is. Looking the wrong direction. He's hoping that smoke's going to clear him, but they don't know he's there! Tabson is still being silent. He's cleared out the bomb site. So there's one. They know where he is! He spams through the door! Absolutely brilliant idea! There's one in apartments. As Haley is going to get the end. Lovely try there coming out from Tabson, but that is going to be two for two. As do and faculty have enough money to buy up? The answer is barely. But either way, two for two. Remember, this is map number three. Whoever wins this goes through. Well, whoever wins this has a better chance of going through. When Nostalgia will probably have to win their next two matches to have any chance. As Kirby's going to take down one, Tapson's going to do a little bit of damage to his, to his teammate there, shooting Pipson in the back of the head. Well, Kirby in the back of the head, I think. As it's now a 4 versus 5, but they're now rotating over to A. In fact, I like that move. They sent 3... I've seen a lot of teams do it. They sent 3 over Banana, stop any possibility for push, remove that information from the T side, and then just rotate back over to A. Make them think that you're stacking B. But... They are going B anyway. It's going to be a 3 versus 1 if they push this. Woo, why yawn then? Can he do this? It's Germans versus Russians. I've never heard that before. 
As SMN, they're slowly creeping up. Neither side knows that they're there. They're all being very quiet. Now they know the smoke's coming out. The counter flash is also. And he has two flashes in hands. And he's being fanned down. He's in a bad position, but he isn't going to stop picking up one kill. He's going to get completely flashed out. As all three are now going to rush onto the B bomb site, but he's using that smoke to his advantage. He's going to pick up a third. Yes, he will. SMN going huge. I was going to have a quick look at how the frags are going this game. On this fifth round, after those two pistol... After those two gun rounds. Ugh. As SMN is the top fragger in the game, going 11 and 2. Being followed up very shortly by Pipson, going 6 and 4. And then Tapson and Healy, 5 and 2 and 5 and 4 respectively. And everyone else doesn't really matter. Interestingly enough, again, Leisure has no frags. At the amazing man of the match of a map number two. He's not really getting into his own. Maybe he just needs to pick up that AWP. We're following SMN. And Haley's going to pick up the first one. But SMN is going up against two as they're pushing up through apartments. It's now at four on five. As Haley's going to pick up another one. Haley going absolutely huge. As this is actually going to be a mostly an ego round. Apart from Haley, that weapon has worked so well. Edic picking up another one. Leaving it all down to Kirby. And, well, that eco round escalated quickly. I think SMN was just called S. Uh, I can't remember what his actual CSS name was. It was something similar. Because the problem was I never followed the CSS scene that closely. I didn't follow the 1.6 scene that closely. I just knew the big players. Maybe. As Kirby, they are hunting him down. They want to get rid of that AK-47. Because if that AK-47 leaves his hands, it puts him in a great economic situation. But nope. He will be able to save it. And it looks like they want to go for a buy. As interestingly enough, Kirby... Yep, he's going to save his AK-47, but he is going to throw out that M4. So they are going to go for a buy, but they have no money. Literally, it will be impossible for them to buy up if they lose this round. So this is going to be absolutely crucial for both Nostalgia and then, fa and then Faculty. In the meantime... Taps is going to do a lot of damage to Haley. I see Tapson instant headshotting Pipson twice. Again, a second one. And really nostalgia are just poking out one by one and giving Tapson a very easy time of it. And the bomb is down middle, leaving it all down to Haley. Haley's in a one versus five. He needs to go huge. He doesn't go huge. And that is going to be four to three. As in faculty are going to pick up a round that they so, they so desperately needed to pick up. And that is going to give them a little bit of a bank because they didn't lose anyone that round. On nostalgia. Now they are the ones on the verge of having to eco. And this match is just going left, uh, swinging left and right. And side to side, as no one's really taking advantage, as Eddie is going to pick up the first kill. Eddie, well known for being a very good 1.6 player. Pipson. And in fact, I will say something. I do like how GeoTV is no longer lagging on the EHL TV side. I do like that a lot. As it's a 4 versus 5, and faculty are down one man. It's really going to be all up to Leisure. As Leisure's coming up, instant headshot! Equaling it. Being the equalizer, as always. Pipson is going to get the res response. Now Kirby. Kirby's going to get flashed out. He's near spools. But they're not going to be going B. And SMN was on the verge of trying to rotate them. As Haley is going to go down to Disruptor. We're following Edic. He's got the AWP in hand. He's going up against the guy in pit. It's not a very good place to be trying to AWP. 
and he is going to get smoked out. As SMN is going to equal things out even further for his team, making it a 2 versus 3. As it looks like they're trying to go just through to B. So we're going to be following Edit because he's got the bomb. He needs to go huge here. Can he get the bomb plant down? No, he can't. They just spent a little bit too long being a little bit too careful. Uh, so we see Edic, he's going one on one with Leisure, and Leisure is going to get legged in the face. Well, legged in the leg. As we're going to be switching over to Leisure. As Haley's going to pick up one, Leisure's going to miss his op shot. And after we saw what the what we saw on the Dust Two, that's a little bit weird. As SMN is going to equal things out with an instant headshot. The Pips and he's here on long. Banana. And Tapson is going to get taken down by Pipson. And Edic is also going to equal things out. But Leisure finally hitting with those orb shots. Making it on a two on two. And we see Nostalgia. It looks like they're trying to rotate over to B. And I like this decision because Leisure, he can't move. He's not really in the health kind of position in which he can go rotate over. I Means it's going to be all over the SMN. As he picks up one. It's now all up to Pipson. He's in a 1 versus 2, but it's basically a 1 versus 1 as Leisure has no health. He's going to get the bomb plant down and he's hoping to get a position onto SMN. But SMN called it. SMN realized that that was happening. As he's going to pick up the second kill, SMN picking up a 4 piece. As I'm not sure what SMN stands for, but I know so many. Ends. So much norsome. I don't know a good name for e I don't know a good positive acronym for the word N. So much niceness. Nah, that doesn't work. We did we do see smoke coming out as nostalgia are going to Are they gonna buy up again? Nope, only overdrive has a weapon. Overdrive, he spent all his weapon, maybe a little bit of miscommunication there. And it is going to be and he goes down. Ouch. As Kirby picks up a second one. As, he, as he's going to get joined by Leisure. Haley is going to finally get the return. But this is now a two on four. Only Haley has any kind of weapon in hand. And they're stacking banana. And we see Kirby. He's playing just aggressive on long. He's going to do so much damage to Haley there. And the smokes and flashes are going to come out. We're going to switch over to Haley. As he's the one with the weapon. He's the one who needs to do something amazing. But he's going to run into players here. Edic is going to get a nice kill there. But Disruption is going to get the response. And he's going to get the second one. And that is going to be 7-3 to three in favour of him faculty. Obviously this is a CT bias map. So you know... Nostalgia aren't worried yet. Now, if Nostalgia don't win this round, then they might be worried because they're going to be... Well, economically, they might be able to buy up next round. But it's not good either way. As we do see, SMN is on 17-4, to 4, going absolutely huge for his team, and the highest fragger in the game by a while. In fact, he's almost got uh, more teams than the rest of his than the rest of his team combined. So we're going to switch over to SMN. I see he's playing middle right now. Right, no Kirby. He's going to throw a grenade out, doing a little bit of damage there, but not quite enough. As we have 45 viewers, 45 of you watching, N Faculty vs Nostalgia map number three. As Haley is going to pick up a kill. Taking down the first one. This is a good start for Nostalgia. 
As we see Disruptor, he's also going to get taken down by Haley. Haley being left with 4 HP but 4 HP is more than 0. As it looks like, in fact, they've done the rotation over to B, but we see Laser picking it up two there. It looks like they will look in the wrong direction, but Overdrive is going to just go absolutely huge, leaving it all down to SMN, but Edic is going to take care of him, making it 7-4, to four, and that was a win that they really needed to pick up. And Nostalgia, they have more than enough money to buy up next round if they lose this. Probably. As in fact, and Faculty are now the ones who are in the money issues. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. We're seeing a lot of aggression coming out from Kirby. He's doing that B banana. He's going up against Hooch. He's going to win. He's going to take him down. Being left with 14 HP, but 14 HP is enough. We see Haley. He's managed to get the boost up onto apartments. And hey, Soms 2000. It's not just Soms. It's like Soms version 2000. New and improved. Crashes 15%. Crashes 50% less! <laughs> but either way, it's going to be a still a 5 on 5 with Kirby being left on 2 HP as Haley will eventually go down to SMN. As we see Tabson is here, looking to pick up another kill and the Germans are looking to put a lid right back on this uh, round that Nostalgia just managed to pick up. So it's all up to Pipson and Edit. Pipson, nice headshot there! HP as SMN is going to take down Pipson, leaving it all down to Edic. Edic picks up one. He can't pick up a second one because Disruptor is going to take him down, disrupting any chance of a clutch, and that is going to be eight to four. As in faculty recover from what was a little bit of an interesting area. As nostalgia, they're going to have just enough money to buy up, but now this is where. Uh, but now nostalgia are the ones who are on the verge of having an eco. As we are on round number 13, unlucky for some. As we, we are again seeing this very aggressive banana play coming up from CDs, and I love it! As SMN and Disruptor are going to take Nostalgia completely out by surprise. Seriously, this play is just so good. Because so many T sides, they will spread out and wait for individual one on one picks. So just rushing banana, it takes so many teams out by surprise. But either way, we're going to follow Haley. Who basically that smoke? It that smoke is brilliant because it cuts them off and it allows them to do four onto A. As it does look like the overdrive is going to be the sacrificial lamb, the one to do as much damage as he can before he goes down. So we're going to be following him because he's he needs to pick up at least two kills here, and he can't pick up any. Has. That is not good. We're going to follow Edic. Edic, who's been rather good throughout all these three maps that's going on, gone on between the Russians and the Germans. And it's all going to be down to SMN, but the rotation is happening. And so do the flashes. But SMN's going to take him down, leaving it all down to Haley. Haley's in a 1 versus 4. He's going to look the wrong way. There's a lot of players who are on low HP. He could do this if he can get, get this kill. He will take down 1. Take down 2! Now in a 1 versus 4, 2, but he really needs to run. Because he can't afford to die. Because he's not going to get this round done, and if he dies, he loses all his money. Well, he doesn't lose all his money, but he loses his weapon, and if you don't... If you just let the time run out on the T side, you don't get any money. But either way, it isn't going to matter, because that is going to be 9-4 to four in favour of the faculty with Nostalgy. They really could do with winning these last two rounds, or at least one of them, as we are on the penultimate round of the first half. And pulling out those big words again, penultimate. As Leisure's going to pick up one. Haley's going to try and do a lot of damage to Leisure. As Leisure takes a lot of damage there, but he did get one kill. He took down Edic. As we see, Nost Nostalgia, they're trying to go aggressive. Haley will have finally take down Leisure, but not before he takes down two kills. He's looking to go against Kirby. 
but Kirby is going to get the better of him, making it two on four, and Overdrive has no weapon, and Pipson has no weapon. It's all down to Overdrive. He's going to have to go over the top to get this win, and it's not going to work, as that is going to be ten to four in favour of Nostalgia, and, well... I've just been impressed with overall the end faculties. They really have been impressed with the way that they've dealt with Banana Area. Because the way that I see this map, Banana is the crucial area to control, whether on the T side or the terrorist side. The CT side or the T side. If you can control Banana, you control the map, you control the information. As we see, Leisure gets taken down. As Kirby is also there, does he know he's there? He's gonna get completely flashed, he's trying to get to safety. Disruptor and Edic, trade kills. And this is now going to be a 4 on 4. But Leisure's very low HP. Tabson's being forced to rotate over to B. To help out the York player as Overdrive's going to take down Leisure. But Tabson's going to get the return, making it a 3 on 3 now. Obviously, I'd say that 3-on-3 three three more favours the T-side in this map, just because we see it's all going to be up to the Disruptor. He's in this pit area, though. This pit area is so difficult to take. Unless Edic runs up and gets an instant headshot. So we're going to switch over to... Wait, is he going to plant? He's going to plant in the bomb side. Brilliant cover there, coming out from Mucha, leaving it all down to Tabson. This is the last round of the half. So one versus three. Can he do this? One German versus three Russians. Terrorists win. And nope. As Edic... They are going to make it 10 to 5, which it's going to be 10 to 5, it's, it's respectable. As in, I'd say end faculty on the lead, because 9 to 6 is more what I prefer, but 10 to 5 isn't bad. But either way, we are going to be going on the first person round, and I will be quickly nipping back, because I definitely need a drink. And it's awesome, Peter... Peter Damas. Uh, Peter Damas, yeah, Peter Damas 2. As if I'm going to wait for the end of this round before picking up a drink. As this is going to be the first pistol round. As Nostalgia are do taking a very big lead. And this is a pistol round they so desperately need. Because if they lose this, it puts them in a bad situation. The flashes are coming out. We see Husha. Picks up a second kill. Perfect headshots coming out from the P2000. Obviously, you can't really expect any... Worse from one of the best, uh, one of the better Russian 1.6 players. As M Faculty have managed to get onto the A bomb site. The smoke's coming down, but Disruptor drops the bomb. No. And all chances of a Russian comeback have gone to dust. As Overdrive is going to take down SMN, and that is going to be 10 to 6, and probably 10 to 8. And so I am back, and we are going into yet another eco round coming out from the end faculty. And Nostalgia, they're probably going to pick up the next two rounds unless end faculty can get a bomb plant or do something amazing, as SMN's just giving away his position. And this is going to be a straight up rush. Pucha picking up one, picking up two, three, four. Terrorists win. Brilliant spray. Only Overdrive being able to snatch any of those kills away. And that is going to be 10 to 7. And that was not the kind of round that an end faculty were looking for. So this is going to be another eco round coming out from the T side. Ah, uh, that's a quick look at how the kills are looking. Oh, do you see the SMN is still leading the is still leading the fragging board, so to say, with 22 to 9. But Pipson's going to be the one to get the first kill. Haley picking up too. See Hucha. He's going to be going aggressive. He's looking for that kill. We're going to switch over to Tapson. He's going up against three here. And it's not going to end well. Leaving it all up to Kirby. And Overdrive is going to end any dreams he may have. Because that is going to be 10 to 8. In favour of Faculty, but Nostalgia, they've brought it back. I'm not sure where they brought it from or where they brought it to, 
but they've brought it back. And in fact, that was a pretty clean around coming out from Nostalgia. Giving them a lot of money to bank up on. If they lose this round, they should have more than enough to be able to buy up again. Uh, Blazier's going to pick up one. Disruptor's looking for a second. They're just going to spam him down through that wall. Jumping over the Molotov. Cool guys don't look at explosions or fire. But they do look at bullets, it seems. As Edic is going to take down Leisure. Leaving it into a 3 versus 4. And I'm, I know I'm saying that name wrong. It's going to be on YouTube. Like, just a bunch of people saying, No, that's not how you say it. And Simpson's going to take down 1. Make it into a 3 on 3. However, in fact, we have managed to get control of the left, right side of, bomb, of a bomb side. Having said that, Pipson is going pretty huge right now. It's a two on two. We're going to switch over to Edic. Can Edic do this? No, he can't. And we're going to switch over to Pipson. Is he just going? To, he's just going to be trying to save. He's done his work. He doesn't have enough health to go for, the, for this. And so that is going to be nine to ten. Eleven to ten. Because obviously I can't count. So eleven to eight in favour of in faculty as they are going to get that bomb plant down. And Pipson's just going to be trying to save his weapon. And I'm going to be trying to work out which team's going to win this. And, you know, numbers. For someone who's doing a degree in Peter Science, this is not that great. Obviously this means it's going to be a full gun round coming out from both sides, and, well... The economy is roughly equal right now, considering that the TCTs have a harder time buying up due to the fact that their guns are more expensive and they have to buy up, uh, you know, gun kits as well. Not gun kits, uh, diffuse kits. And we can really see the difference that the Nostalgia are doing. They're not pressuring this area. Meaning they're forced to keep two on B. And that means that wherever in faculty go, they're probably going to have a man advantage. As we see, Edic's going to pick up one. Edic is now trying to rotate back, but he did get that first kill. And that first kill is huge. As we see, he's trying to make his way out into middle. As it looks like they're not sure where they want to go yet. As Tabson. SMN's going to pick up one. Pipson's going to take down Leisure, but Kirby's going to get the, ro get the uh, flank, and it looks like they might be trying to rotate over to B. Or... Nope, nothing's really happened yet. It's still a 3-on-3 three three and we're all back to square one as... Nobody really has any kind of positioning. And now it looks like it's going to be on to B. So we're going to be switching over to Edic. Because Edic is going to be the one who's going to be so crucial in defending this. As Hucho is going to pick up one. SMN is going to get the return. And in fact, now they went to A instead, meaning SMN is not going to be the one who has to re return. They kind of did a double fake, which I do like to see from in faculty. There needs to be more faking from in faculty generally, leaving it all down to Edic. And is he going to go for it? He doesn't have the money, but they really need to win this round. And it looks like he's just going to be trying to... He's going to be doing the smart, safe option, but... That puts M faculty on 12 to 8. And well, if we have a look at the money, they might be able to buy, as in Overdrive will have enough money, barely. Terrorists win. If Nostalgia can pay, pick up maybe a two for masses? Oh no, they'll, yeah, they will have enough money to buy up. So this is going to be a buy for the CT side, but if they lose this one, they are definitely going to be an eager. Unless they, like, save three or four weapons. Raids are coming out, stopping any kind of push, but... Again, we're seeing a very defensive CT side, which I just don't like on this map. This is not a, C this is not a defensive CT map. Because you just need that information, as Hucho is going to pick up the first kill. Haley is kind of going up against a lot of spam right now, coming out from Kirby. As he's going to get headshotted. Twice, through the wall. 
as Pipson's going to pick up another one. Now making it into a one on three. And it looks like they want to go banana with Tabson being the one making sure no one's going to rotate through middle. Elasia's here. He's got that knife out. Probably aiming up a smoke. As Overdrive is going to take down Tabson, and that was a pretty big kill, making it a 3 5 on 2. The counter flash is going to come out, completely blinding Legson, leaving it all up to Kirby. Kirby is going to get sprayed down by Edic, and that is going to be 12 to 9 as Nostalgia bring one back. And just when it looked like they were in bad economic straits, they equal things out, and in faculty are now on 12 to 9. And Nostalgia, they're all doing pretty well in what is a CD bias map. As we are going to be following Kirby as he's trying to make his way up through middle. He's got the bomb with the SMN coming up through apartments. It looks like they just want to go for a straight up A rush as Ush is going to take that one, two, three. He's looking for another fourth. He's got the bomb, he's looking for that ace. We're going to switch over to Hooch because he wants an ace. He can taste it. I'm not sure how you taste it when it, you know, Counter Strikers virtual game, but he can taste it. And he's probably telling his team, no, don't, uh, if you see him, just point him out. As Overdrive is going to take down SMN, and that is going to be 12 to 10. As the Nostalgia are going to pick up another round. With a very nice anti eco round coming out. And so we're back onto a full gun round as Tapson is going to get the better, but we see Hooch, he's playing aggressive! Epic! Orp shot there, playing aggressive, point blank, he's looking for a second one, he will actually leg Tabson, but it's not quite good enough. As Leisha's gonna take down Overdrive, and it looks like N Faculty gonna pick up another round, but not vote. Epic! Really, that's all you can say is it looks like Nostalgia, they're gonna be just trying to save their weapons, they know a 2 on 4 is pretty hard to come back on. And they've managed to bring back enough, brown, enough rounds to know that in faculty are going to be hurting economically. As we see that the money they have is not that great. While Nostalgia have more than enough money to buy up next round. Terrorists win. As Pipson is going to pick up one. And they're going to save their weapons, remove another weapon from the uh, T side. And even then, I don't think they're going to have enough... And faculty are not going to have enough money to buy up if they lose this. Meaning that this is a very crucial round. Because Nostalgia have plenty of money on them at the moment. And faculty don't. And Nostalgia could very easily tie this up if they win this round. The grades are coming out, doing a lot of damage there to Alicia. in an interesting position here. Doing a lot of spam. But we see Pipson pushing out to the right time, taking down Leisure, making it into a one, a four versus five. Brilliant play there. As we're now following Pipson. He is gonna get smoked off. I like that smoke. As it forces nostalgia to play on the CT side of this map. On the CT spawn side of B. The camp smoke's coming out, but it doesn't really matter because it looks like they're trying to rotate over to A. So we're going to switch over to Haley, who's going to get taken down by Disruptor. As Tabson's also going to take down Overdrive. Hucho is here in pit though. And we know how hard this pit area is to take. As he's going to take down one, two, three. He's going to jump away from the flames, but he's going to be leaving it all down to Kirby. He's going to take down one. It's now a one versus two. 
Sadly, he can't suck his troubles through there, as that is going to be two to, as that is going to be thirteen to eleven, not two to nil, because that's how many players were left. Too many, too many numbers, too many names. I'm getting confused. It's way past my bedtime. <laughs> as nostalgia, they're going to bring it back one more, and it looks like M Faculty are on an eco. The flashes of smokes are coming out, and they're just going for a straight-up b bush. There's going to be it all up to Edic and Pipson. Edic spamming through blindness, taking one headshot onto Tapson. And this is going to be a very, very easy anti-eco round. And Nostalgy, like I said, they've almost tied it up. And now this one's going to be an important one. Because in faculty, they are going to buy up again because they do not want to tie it up on 13 to 13. As in, Nostalgy right now must be feeling great. Since they, they started this half terribly. They managed to do a little comeback, and now they're on the, they're basically this is a comeback. But to be honest, the comeback sounds like a weird sex move. But regardless of what it is, the Russians are doing it. As it looks like, in fact, he wants to go for some kind of an A push, and it's going to be up to Overdrive, Haley, and Hucha to defend against this. The smokes are good. Asia making sure no one's behind that uh, car. Just doing a little bit of noise to make sure that whoever's still on B stays there. However, I'd like to see Nostalgia playing aggressive, more aggressive on this banana. They have no idea where in faculty are. And it, basically, this push is going to be right on top of them by the time they realise, and it's going to take them far too long to rotate over. As we do see the flashes coming out, and Hoosier, good position, using that smoke, perfectly, one, two, not a third, but it's now going to be a one versus three, make that a non versus three. As the Russians, they are now clearly ahead. The economic situation means that they're going to be able to buy up every single round for this, and this is going right down to the wire. And not the TV show, The Wire, but, you know, the saying, The Wire. And this is going to be another eco round coming out from the faculty, putting nostalgia on the possible match point, or penultimate point. As the grey is going to come out with Haley, doing a lot of damage up middle, as in faculty, they're just going for it. They're just going to rush up through middle. Haley picking up one, picking up two, picking up three. And really... What I'd like to see more from in faculty, they've already got the advantage that Nostalgia are not using this banana correctly. So if, if you know that your opponent team are not using banana correctly, what you need to do, you need to fake. You basically rush up, do a, lo do a lot of, uh, you know, smokes and flashes here, but then leave a player. You leave a player here to stop the rotation and then send the rest up banana. Because this map is a lot about faking. It's a lot about... As Haley, nice idea, bad execution. He's gonna get taken down by Kirby. Now making it into a four versus five. See Leisure, I'm gonna switch over to him. He's got the orb in hand. He's gonna get smoked off as Hooch is gonna equal things out. Slowly, they're trying to make their way forward. I don't like the lack of smokes. It's not going to matter because no one's here on middle. They've all pushed pull back due to the kill, forcing Edic to rotate around and cover both <coughs> both sites at once. As I'm going to cough a little bit to death. As SMN, he's going up against Overdrive. Overdrive's in a good position here. That's going to be a very easy kill, and that's going to put N Faculty in a bad position right now. As they are going to be rushing up through the middle, but the grey is going to be raining down on them. Edic in a good position, picking up one. Leaving it all down to Tapson. Tapson picks up one, picks up two. He's got the bomb, but it doesn't have enough health to take a headshot. And that is going to be 15 to 3 as in faculty. This is not looking good for the Germans. If you were a fan of the Germans, this is not going well. As we are now one round away. 
One round away from Nostalgia taking the lead. Or taking this match. Obviously it's 1-1 in maps, meaning this is it. We're going to see. And faculty are going to buy it the best they can with not full grenades, but they've mostly got enough money for AK-47s and armor. Deja doesn't have a head armor, but that's about it. As the grenades are going to do a little bit of damage to SMN. They were winning 10-5 at one point, but obviously this is a CT bias map. Although Kirby's going to hit an instant headshot onto Overdrive. As Nostalgia, we see SMN, he's trying to make his way forward. He was so crucial in that first half. Kirby's going to get completely flashed out. SMN's going to take down Hooch, making it a 3 versus... Make that a 2 versus 5. It's going to be all down to Edic and Pipson. They have more than enough money, they're going to go for this. Pipson's going to dodge the first flash. But he's not going to do it. It's going to be all down to Eddie. He's going to 1 versus 5. Make it a non versus 5. Russians must use AK 47. <laughs> As this is now the last round of this game, this is either going to be overtime in favor of this overtime or Nostalgia are going to win this. I don't know who's going to do this. As basically that's what the current scores look like. Haley doing a lot of damage from Nostalgia on the CT side. As we see SMN, he's going to dodge that op shot. Doing a little bit of matrix, matrix action. The SMN is trying to poke his way up. You can see one. SMN's going to take that one. Kirby's going to do two for two trade. Two for three trade, Kirby going absolutely huge, picking up the first two kills, and the A-bomb site is clear. They're trying to rotate over from B, but SMN, he wasn't with his team there. Meaning this is going to... I don't think that end faculty were expecting to get on this A-bomb site. Edic's going to do a little bit of damage to Legia, and this bomb plant's going to go down. They're going to plant it safe. As it's now all up to Edic and Pipson. Now it's all up to Edic. Edic's in a 1 versus 3. He can't get the 1, and that is going to be an overtime. And the Germans, they're holding on to a lifeline right now, as I'm not quite sure what they're going to do for an overtime. But an overtime this is. Best of 3 or best of 5? <laughs> So, this is a match that isn't going to end, because we are going into overtime. Too much ESL in your blood. <laughs> so go. Obviously, they're not going to go yet because of, you know, the GOTV, it will lag out. It will make issues. And for those of you who are just joining us, this is End Faculty vs. Nostalgia. The third map just went to an overtime. The first map, it was 16-14. The second map in faculty dominated on Dust 2, going 16 to 8. And now it's 15 15, all tied up. After in faculty went 10 to 5 up, they then lo lost the second half 10 to 5 down, leaving it all down to an overtime. Obviously, let's see if we've got any more results from the rest of the tournament. Actually, have we got any more results from the ESCA? <laughs> ESCA official comment. Huh. Okay, let's reconnect. It's a little bug that kind of annoys things. But we are going to be going into overtime.
But either way, we are going to be going into the round number one of overtime as this ESCA comment is actually kind of interesting. As you can see, Gray is coming out as it's going to be a full on B rush with Disruptor taking out Pipson. And faculty, can they come back from being so. Nostalgia being so close to winning. As you see, Edic though is going to pick up the first two kills. The smoke is still going to come off. Completely smoking off the CT spawn area. But we see Edic is trying to make his way around. But there, that's some pretty good smoke coming out from Ed Faculty, giving them more than enough time to get that bomb plant down. It's now going to be a 3 versus 4. But in Faculty, they're up against the ropes. The grenades are raining down against them. And Edic's going to take down one. Haley's going to take down a second one, leaving it all down to Kirby. And Nostalgia. After losing the initial pick, they're going to do a pretty dominating comeback. Making the first round 1-0 in favour of the Russians. As now, it's n round number two of map three of overtime number one. As again, it's going to be just a straight up a bombsite push. We're going to switch over to Pipson. He's got completely flashed out. I'm not sure what's going on right now. As Edic will go down. Pipson is trying to do anything, but uh, he's still flashed out. He's so good that even the commentators can see what the hell's going on. As it's going to be all up to Hooch and Haley. Hooch and Haley are two versus. Make that a one versus five. They have plenty of money to go for it. And if Nostalgia. If N Faculty can take this, it would be a pretty good way to equal things out. As Tabson is, and that's going to be a complete sweep coming out from N Faculty, and that was a pretty good way to start the game. But either way, we see, again, another full buyout coming out, and this is probably going to be the best, basically a best out of three, so to say. Where both sides play three rounds, and whoever gets the most at the end of those three rounds basically wins the entire overtime. So this will be the last round of the first overtime. As again, we're just seeing a full-on A bomb bombsite push. As and faculty seem to like this A bombsite push, but this time they're ready with the counter flashes. With a nice headshot coming out from Pipson onto Kirby. In the meantime, we have Edic also here, but this time we're seeing a nice fake, and I like this because we're seeing Overdrive and Hooch. They're forced to rotate over into that direction. However, I would like to see one of the players on the nostalgia side to stay back and... F well, actually, they are doing that. As Kirby's going to be in a 1 versus 2 in a minute. Kirby's going to take down 1. And it's going to be a very quick 3 for 2 trade in favour of the Russians. We see SMN, he is going to take down Overdrive, but not before getting dinked himself. Making it into a 2 versus 2. We see Tabson, he's now in a 1 versus 2. He's going to get the headshot onto Hooch. Can he do this 1 versus 2 situation? We're going to be following him. He's going to get that bomb plant down. He's going to do a lot of damage to Pips and finally get the headshot. And then Faculty are going to win the first half 2 to 1. This means that all in Faculty need are 2 rounds on the CT side. And they will go through. Well, not go through, but win the first match that they played. Well, they'll, be, they'll win the match. As we're going to see now, it. Okay, it's not time yet. Uh, so I'm really not sure what's going on here. Uh, so again, we're just waiting for the admin to turn up and sort things out. But either way, this is going right to the wire. Terrorists win. And so, for those of you who are in chat, yes. You want to shout out for... Taz ha Taz Hackus or Tash Hackus? How do you say that? You say that two ways. It's either Tash Hackus or Taz Hackus. Tash Hackus. 
And yes, this is live. This is overtime. I'm not really sure what's happening right now. They're waiting for admins to sort it out. There we go. It's restarting. So, this is half number two. For half number two. Two round... It's two to one in favour of faculty. With... They're now on the easier CT side. And so, let's go live! The flashes are coming out. In fact, I like that flash. That was an interesting flash. As... Nope. Not yet. Nostalgy say no. But either way, this is map number three. Overtime number one. Half number two. And I can say numbers. Obviously, if you want to see the other two maps, which I definitely would suggest, then I will be uploading them to my YouTube channel, which is under the same name. And also, you should also stick around, because there's going to be some pretty awesome stuff coming up. Uh, so let's see how the Hawks vs. TCM Gaming has gone. So, the Hawks vs. TCM Gaming... TCM Gaming won... Wow. TCM Gaming won DM Mirage 16-1. I'm not kidding there either. DE Dust 2 is a little bit closer, going 9 to 6 in favour of TCM Gaming, but they were on the CT side. As we see Disruptor playing very aggressive onto Banana. I love this play, taking down Overdrive almost instantly, making it into a 4 versus 5. And I will say that right now the Germans are the favourite to win this match, just due to being on the easier side and only needing to win 2 rounds to uh, clutch this out. While well, Nostalgia are going to need to win all 3 on the T side to be able to win or get two to tie it up and go to another overtime because here at Counter Strike we never stop we just keep going overtimes until it e never ends as we are following Eric slowly they're crawling forwards Ely looking for the damage staying here too. And we see SMN, he's here in the pit. I like this area though, he has been smoked off. Nostalgy. They have managed to get control mostly of the A-bomb site. Well, I say mostly because there are two in pit. As SMN's going to hit a nice headshot there. He's looking for a second one. He will pick it up. A third! Absolutely mental! Leaving it all up to Pipson. He's in a 1 versus 5. Now we're 1 versus 4. No, he can't. A dis As Disruptor is going to disrupt those plans. And that is going to be 3 to nil as an end faculty and now on 2 match points. So, all of you who want the Germans to win this, give a shout in chat. How, on the other hand, all of you who want Nostalgy to tie this up, I don't know, shout in chat as well. I should have thought this up. I'm not a very smart man. <laughs> but either way, this is going to be another 5 on 5, and this is possibly game over for Nostalgy. Nostalgy is going to be put in an impossible situation if they lose this. And they will be currently last in their group. See Overdrive slowly trying to make their way through apartments. As, again, I like this positioning from uh, and faculty. They're giving Nostalgy control of the apartments, but they're just taking the far harder to uh, clear out area of the uh, pits. Because obviously that pit area is just so difficult to clear out because of you can only see their heads. And it's such a good vantage point to defend from. Kirby's going to pick up the first one. Hooch going to pick up the second one. Overdrive is trying to make his way on. And in fact, the bomb plant didn't go down. It's now a 2 versus 4. It's now a 1 versus 4. Is this GG? Are the Germans going to come back? Yes, they are. The Germans are going to beat the Russians. And in faculty, will win their first match. Giving them one win, one loss. And that is GG. <laughs>